Winemaker Apres on Whistler Mountain means ditching your high heels for a pair of ski boots. And this Apres uncorks more than just a nachos and beer fair. Coming up, a winemaker apres. No dinner jacket necessary, and ski suits are welcome. Anything goes. You know what? It's about the experience for the food and the wine. You're going to be standing on your nice runners here. Then the fits list goes to the dogs. A dog sled tour both two and four-legged friends can feel good about. This is our larger, what we call our wash still. And the Pemberton Distillery is most famously known for their Shram vodka. But did you know that whiskey's in the barrel too? So much to celebrate in so many ways. The Express, your local voice. Welcome to the Express on Shaw TV. I'm your Sea to Sky host, Nicole Fitzgerald. And today we're toasting the Winemaker Apres series on top of Whistler Mountain. See you later, Ranch Wines are the star of today's five course experience located at Steeps. It's a very unusual Apres, just like the topic of our next story. The newly created Whistler Sled Dog Company is doing business a little differently. All proceeds from their tours benefit the welfare of animals, especially sled dogs. One part hikers, one part high heels. I'm a mountain girl always looking for the next adventure. This is where dreams are made. Dreams that are meant to be shared. From peak to valley, from snow to sun. I'm Nicole Fitzgerald, and this is The Fitz List. Doing everything you've ever wanted to do. This is the sound of happy dogs. So rest easy in your sled. What once was horrific has now transformed to hope. Our dogs are very well cared for. We've changed the kennel drastically of what we've done. We've free run all our dogs, we've fixed all our males. Generally, our dogs are extremely happy. Change has been a big part of these dogs' lives recently. They are among the 151 survivors of the Whistler Outdoor Adventures Massacre. The company received worldwide condemnation when a suspected 50 to 100 healthy dogs were slaughtered two years ago. The sledding operation was gifted to a new charity foundation and the Whistler Sled Dog Company was born. We offer dog sled tours for guests. We are owned by a foundation, the Sled Dog Foundation, which all our proceeds go to. And then from there, the foundation then allocates the money, the profits of the proceeds to other charities or bettering the life of sled dogs. Next up is Dumbledore. Dumbledore is just a four-year-old, pretty crazy, lots of energy. He's going to be doing all the power today, pulling all the sleds. Asking dog sled musher William Jackson to name his favorite dog is like asking a mother to pick their favorite child. I have 151 favorite dogs. <laughs> Smarties, she's getting pretty old. She's almost eight now. Um, her name's Smarties because she has two different colored eyes. She's part of the chocolate bar litter, so every time we have a litter, we have different themes for each litter. And her litter, like I said, was a chocolate bar, so there's Mars Bar and Score and Twix and Lucky and Smarties. Every single one of them has a different personality and it's just a great feeling to work with them and see how excited they are and live off their energy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is harness the dogs. Okay. So I'm going to give you a harness right here. All right. And I'm going to take a harness as well. Guests get to experience that energy on an interactive hands-on tour. There you go, Smarty. A dog aptly named Hurricane excitedly drags me over to the sled. <laughs> the dogs love what they do. They, um, this is what they're born and bred to. They've been doing it all their life. And it's like when you say walk to your dog, they just get really excited. Same thing with us. As soon as they see that the sleds are out, they're ready to run. The dogs run us along rivers and landscapes framed with mountain views. But soon my viewing experience shifts from a seated to standing perspective. 
The third dog is very simple. You have your handlebar right here. Okay. You can always hold on to your handlebar. You never let go of your handlebar because these dogs will just go whether you're on the back or not. <laughs> Next up, you have this nice metal bar here. Very high tech. It's uh, called your brake. All you got to do is slam that into the ground to stop the slide. Okay. Then you're going to be standing on your nice runners here and holding on. So as easy as that. <laughs> How the tour mushes out is as unique as company aspirations. The Whistler Sled Dog Company aims to become a leader in their field, contributing to the standardization of dog sled operations and raising the bar on sled dog care. We're looking at doing quite a few different sort of projects. Um, one of them is to sort of create a better living atmosphere for dogs. So we're going to study our kennel and see what changes we can implement to better off their life, as well as we're going to look at their diets. We are going to offer everything that we've studied and learned to anybody that is interested in um, just listening to us, what we have to say, and take what they can out of it to better off their kennels. Better kennels means better lives, which means happier dogs and cleaner guests. There's lots of opportunities to interact with the dogs, including when you wrap up the tour at the yurt with a nice hot chocolate and cookie. You may have to share it. <laughs> Sharing the love is what this company is about, and you only need to look to the dogs to know this tale comes with a happy ending. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. One charity initiative the company is looking into is retrofitting an old ambulance so they can tour around BC to offer free spay and neuter services. If you want to learn more about the company or book a tour, visit whistlersleddogco.com. Forget the burgers, forget the fries and beer. An apres experience here at Steeps is all about getting out of the snow and swishing and swirling to BC's finest. Anything goes. You know what? It's about the experience for the food and the wine. We don't expect people to come here with a dress shirt and tie. That's really not what Whistler Blackham is all about. The Winemaker Series features a different BC winery every time. Today is all about See You Later Ranch, and it must be very unique showcasing your wines at 6,000 feet. <laughs> yes, it's great. This is a fantastic event. We're right now in the busy bottling time at See You Later Ranch, so it's nice to get away from the winery and get up to Whistler Blackham. It's an awesome event. The Winemaker Apri Series here at Whistle Blackcomb is geared towards local products, local wine selection, educating our clients and the public on what you can do with food. We serve Oceanwise Scallops today, which Oceanwise is a program that is put on by the Vancouver Aquarium to enhance and promote sustainability to make sure that the oceans are not overfished. Another one is a BC lamb that comes from two rivers in Pemberton. Today we are uh, trying the 2008 Ping. So Ping is a, a Bordeaux blend. So it's uh, made up of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. And um, we named it after one of Major Fraser's dogs. So one of the first owners of Sealator Ranch, he planted to plant grapes up there. He was a real dog lover. We arrived at the last main entree course with the BC Roasted Lamb Loin. Trying to decide which are my favorite wines. What's been your favorite wine so far? Um, I, I think the Pinot Noir has been so far, but um, you know I'm still tasting the last one, which is the Pink. It's a hard toss up. So. Now this is your first winemaker experience. What has it been like? I've really loved it. I found it really interesting to be able to hear about the effort that they've put into the food as well as how the different wines have been made. It's entertainment at the end of the day. They come up here, they get to ski, they're on top of the world, they get great food and great wine. The Winemaker Apre series runs right through the winter. Next stop is Sumac Ridge on February 8th, and then my absolute favorite, Asoyas La Rose on February 29th. I've already bought my tickets, and you should too. These events sell out fast. BC is famous for its wines and also for its spirits. The Pemberton Distillery received double gold for their handcrafted organic made vodka. But there's more than one way to drink a potato. During the winter time is our major potato spirit production. We're trying to stockpile potato spirit that will become both the vodka and the base for the gin as well.
double gold award-winning organic potato vodka put the Pemberton Distillery on the global map for spirits. And now handcrafted gin is taking center stage. We're actually using our own vodka or our own neutral alcohol. A lot of other gins out there, they're buying what we call bulk ethanol, which is produced in large distilleries. So if you wanna come over here, so this, this is our larger, what we call our wash still. And if you look in the window here, you can see that's the fermented potato mash that's in the process of heating up right now. Gins are stereotypically made with grain, but master distiller Tyler Schramm's choice of a potato base has already earned his spirit the title of the world's best sipping gin. Potatoes don't ferment particularly well, and so you get residual sugars coming into the distillation process, and that actually is what produces the, the smoother end alcohol. Um, so it, it's sort of, again, a bit of a side benefit to using potatoes. Really smell the aroma. <laughs> Tyler has never taken the more timely straight and narrow road. His sustainable practices in his geothermal distillery shake up the standard juniper and coriander based gin with locally harvested botanicals such as hops, rosemary, and rose hips. One of the major ways that handcrafted makes our gin different is you can change the gin quite drastically just by making subtle changes during the distillation. So our plan was to distill four different batches of the gin and just vary the distilling technique slightly. It's virtually impossible for a large company to produce a product and do batches differently from one another. They want to keep a very consistent product, whereas we're purposely trying to make our product different each time. As part of our tour, until the, the whiskey's ready, we're letting them try the malted barley, which is the base for the single malt whiskey that we're making. The Albert Einstein of the distillery world, Tyler's spirited curiosity is always on the move. However, his passion for single malt whiskey, cultivated during his distilling studies at a Scotland university, is forced to be patient. One year down, two more years of aging to go and already this barrel has a 150 person wait list. People uh, they say, what's it like? And I, I say, imagine baking yourself like your favorite cake and then having to stick it in the fridge and let it sit there for three years before you could eat it. And it, it it's, it's tough. The Schramm Organic Gin can be a little bit difficult to find. It is available at the Legacy Liquor Store in Vancouver, the Nestor's Liquor Store in Whistler, and the Pemberton Hotel in Pemberton. But if you want to find some of their more unique finds, they're available here at the distillery, including their organic apple brandy. We got a hold of about 800 pounds of apples from Lillooet and about 800 pounds of apples from Pemberton Valley and we distilled those down to 25 liters that are in this barrel right now and that'll sit aging for about two years. Everything is done by hand. Local ingredients, local artwork, local talent. A painstaking handcrafted process, but one that grants a freedom to explore. We're definitely having fun, yeah. <laughs> We're, we seem to be on a quite the experiment phase right now. From Pemberton, home of the happiest drunken potatoes, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. The tasting room at the Pemberton Distillery is open Friday and Saturdays with guided tours at 1 and 3 p.m. And if you are going to pick up a bottle of that Shram gin, make sure to check out their homemade tonic. It tastes nothing like the stuff you find in the grocery stores and you can only find it at the shop. Well, we continue to toast great food and wine. Our next story comes on the rocks. After the break, a special drink deserves a special ice. It is made with reverse osmosis, so it's ultimate chilling. We welcome uh, our newest conductees. And the BC Sports Hall of Fame, honoring the past, inspiring the future. Nicole Fitzgerald's clothing provided by Peak Performance. Ski gear provided by Nordica. Hair styling by The Loft Salon. Makeup by Beauty Mark. Parking provided by The Fire Rock Lounge.